so a brand new Android TV device running the latest Android 12, typical home screen. We have these large adverts right at the top, covers more or less the whole screen. We have some sponsored content, recommended content, all this kind of stuff. But watch what happens now when I press the home button on this device. And we are taken straight into this new custom launcher where we can see no adverts, we have a fully customized background. We can customize these tiles. You can hide applications. And for example, the wallpaper, if I don't like the wallpaper, I can go straight to the settings. And let's say I'm looking for some earth wallpaper. One click, when I now press the home button, we are instantly now using a completely different wallpaper. So really excited about this new application. And even on the latest Android TV devices, we can now use the home button to launch this custom launcher. And even for your Amazon devices, you can also use this application as well. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now I'm doing my demonstration on the Chromecast Google TV 4K. So many people have been messaging me about this device saying since they installed Android 12, they can now no longer use a custom launcher. So the great thing about the launcher I'm gonna show you in this video is not only does it support the latest Android 12, also has some fantastic features, including using the internet to download wallpapers automatically, and it even cycles those wallpapers automatically. But the key thing is with this single application, it has the built-in mechanism to disable your stock launcher. So previously you may have typed in some ADB commands or maybe used Launcher Manager, but unfortunately with Android 12, if you never used Launcher Manager before on a clean install, you'll now no longer have the ability to disable the stock launcher. Well, this application will do it all for you. Let me give you a quick overview of the application, then I'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can install this on all of your devices. Now, before I start, let me just press, and can you see there, automatically changes the wallpaper, and what a glorious looking wallpaper that is. That looks really nice. Okay, now before we start, let me just go back to home, and here we can just see inside the details, I'm running Android TV OS version 12. So latest version, if I now press the home button, and let me now open up the custom launcher, which is called Project IV or Project V, because originally it was actually designed for projectors, but it works perfectly fine on your Android TVs as well. So let me now open up the application. Now, when you first open this up, the first thing you want to do is if you do want to set this as your custom launcher, is if you go to the settings at the top, Let's now click on the launcher settings, click on that, click on launcher. And we can see we now have this option here, which says override the current launcher. And what this basically does is it uses the accessibility services on your device to then set that launcher. So I can turn this on. That's now all done. So if I press back, back again, and the last thing you want to do is go to the accessibility service. Let's click on that. And we can basically see this will allow you to make that change. So if I click on show accessibility settings, and if I scroll down, we can see under the services, we have a service for the Project IV launcher. So I'm gonna click on that and click on enable, and then click on okay. That's now all done, back again. Now, for example, if I open up an application, and let's just go for YouTube, and now if I press the home button, we are sent straight to the custom launcher. So super easy to use. You don't need to use a separate application or enter in any ADB commands. All of that control is built directly into this application. Now the application as a launcher looks really nice. It's super easy to use. By default, you'll have a row here. If I go to the top, go to settings, go to categories. And by default, the TV apps will be visible like this, as well as the mobile apps. And this will basically show you all of the applications installed on your device, whether they are designed for TVs or maybe some which are designed for phones. All of them will appear in a list that we can see here. If I scroll down, here we are. So we have TV apps 
and I don't have any mobile apps. So we have the TV apps here. So this now shows all of those applications installed on my device. Now, instead of scrolling through a big list, what you probably want to do is to create categories and you can then move these applications into those categories. So let's say we want to create a new category just for a test. So if I go back to the top, click on settings, click on categories, add a new category, and we just call this one premium, maybe for your premium app. So let's click that in. Let's now go back. Now for us to use a category, all we want to do now is find whichever application you want to move into the premium category. For example, Apple TV, long press the select button and now see the option add to premium. Click on that. Now if I go back to the top, we can see we have a new category created called premium and the application gets moved into there. But we can see it does also still appear in streaming. So that way you can have the same application in different categories depending on how you want to configure this. Now, if you don't want an application to appear in a category, very easy, long press the select button, go down and I can select remove from streaming. And that's now all gone. So super easy to use. And the key thing to always remember is your TV apps here will always show all of your applications. So some of you may prefer just to leave this at the bottom so you can always see all of your apps. But if you want to keep things a bit tidy, once you've moved all of the applications into their own categories, you can then go ahead and hide this category if you want to. Now, if you want to change the order of the categories, let's say I want games to go right to the top. We press left here again. We can now see the different uh, categories here. And if you want to move uh, this one, if you press left again, we can see that the arrows get highlighted. I can press the select button and I can now press up to move that up or down to move that down. So if I keep pressing up, we can see games is now moving to the top. Now you can also adjust the card size. So I'm using 80%. If I click on that, let's go for 120. Maybe if you sit far away from your TV or maybe your eyesight is not 100%, you can now see very easily you can make these tiles much bigger. So as I mentioned before, guys, super easy to customize, really fast, really fluid launcher with of course no adverts, no sponsored content, and you really can go ahead and customize this exactly how you like it. Let's go back to the settings again. Launcher settings, go back into the launcher. Now if I click on wallpaper, I mean, what a great feature. So you can obviously have no wallpaper, or you can say I want a random wallpaper from Reddit's earth category, or astrophotography, or a wallpaper section, or wallpapers, or big wallpapers. So literally just infinite amount of wallpapers you can select with this launcher. Let's go for the big wallpapers. Let's click on that. Let's go back. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so we have some nice forest <laughs> in the background there. So again, guys, just really nice feature built into this launcher. You can also access settings from the bottom if you want to leave these enabled. So this is the launcher settings again or you can go back into your Android settings. So if you want to change something like maybe add another Bluetooth device or look at your system settings, you can click on this and this will take you straight into your Android settings. And of course, as soon as you press the home button, one click and we are once again back into that custom launcher. I mean, the thing with these custom launches is, you know, people have different preferences, different things. You really can spend lots of time tweaking this and get it looking exactly how you like it. I've just given you a quick overview, but for the people that are really into their customizations, this one really does have lots of great features. So that's what the launcher is. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. Well, on the Android TV devices, the application is available directly on the Play Store. So I can just go to search Project IV. And there it is, guys. So directly available on the Play Store on the Android TV devices. You can click on that and that will get you the latest version for your Android TV devices. And here we can see on my third generation Fi TV Cube, the launcher looks really nice. You can customize it. You can do all of the things like the wallpaper. The only thing, of course, because of those restrictions from Amazon, you cannot use the home button. So if I go into an application like Downloader, when I now press the back button, back again, I will stay inside the custom launcher. Now to get this on your Amazon devices, head over to my website, techdoctoruk.com, go to tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be 
how you can get this Project Ivy launcher on all of your Amazon devices. So I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this new launcher and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.